Hello all, welcome to Tech Capture. Myself Vishal Bulbuli, and in this video we are going to discuss on managed instance group in GCP. So we'll see why we need a managed instance group, how to create managed instance group, and what are the different features available in managed instance group. So just take an example. You have developed one web application and that you want to host in a Google Cloud on one of the Google Compute Engine. So you choose your US Central one zone and in us central one zone you have created one uh, google compute engine instance and on this you deployed your application and there are users which is using your application now day by day your application is growing and there will be high increase in a number of users which are accessing your application so just assume the users will start using your application excessively now so your single vm is not capable to handle all load of number of requests receiving during this time so to avoid any crashing of the system due to high load what you can do so you can either increase the power of your vm using the cpu disk size and ram or you can add a multiple vms to have the identical configuration so just suppose you are adding a multiple vm here as a single entity you want to use that so how you can use so that's what you need to use a managed instance group so what managed instance group will do they will treat a group of vm as a single entity so if you are not using a managed instance group and your application contains a lot of vms and if you want to perform any activity you have to restart the vm individual or you have to perform activity on individual vm so to avoid that operational task also a managed instance group are important Okay, so I'll go to my slide now. So here are two types of uh, instance group. One are managed and another is unmanaged instance group. So in this video, we'll focus mostly on managed instance group and what is the difference between these two and what are the majority features of unmanaged instance group. We'll see in another video. So here, uh, so what managed instance groups benefit? So it will provide us benefits of auto healing, load balancing, auto scaling, auto updating. So all these features we'll see in our console now. So what is minimum auto healing? What is a regional multi-zone feature? What is load balancing? What is auto scaling? And what is auto updating? So all these feature we'll see one by one. So I'll go to my VM instance page and here we want to create managed instance group. So first thing to remember to create managed instance group, we need an instance template as managed instance group is a group of identical vm so all the vms in your managed instance group should be identical in nature so first let me create one instance template because without instance template you cannot create a managed instance group so instant template is nothing but a blueprint of your application or blueprint of your uh, compute engine so in instance template we'll see what all details we can provide So this is instance template. I'll just give the name as a app template. If one one, and most of the configuration I'll keep as it is. Only in networking I'll change and choose my default. Instead of default, I will choose one application VPC I had created. Okay, so instead of default, I will choose application VPC and i'll create okay sub network i have to choose i'll choose us central one and i'll create okay now i'll go to instance group Here I'll click on create instance group. Once you do create instance group, you will see uh, three different options to create two for managed instance group. You could see two for managed instance group and one is for unmanaged instance group. For now, we'll go with this uh, managed instance group. So I'll just give the name. So managed instance group also referred as a MIG. So I'll also give the name MIG here. So instance template. So if you don't have instance template, you cannot create managed instance group. So I'm choosing this template which we created just now. And here a single zone. So I'll choose a single zone. If you choose a multiple zone, it will have a, your instance in three different zones. 
so it depends how you choose but for this demo I am choosing only a single zone and if you choose a single one I will choose your central one A and auto scaling so suppose at the beginning I will choose minimum number of instance as a one so my managed instance group will be created with a one instance and if there is a high load on my system so instead of crashing it will just create a more number of instances so we just set the CPU utilization as a 60 so at a scaling metric CPU utilization as a 60 percent if my CPU utilization for first VM is going above 60 percent it will just create one more VM then it will check for a two VM and if both of these VM are again exceeding a 60 percent then again it will create one more VM and as load is decreasing it will just scale down the VM so here we can choose the mode so here we have chosen add and remove instances to and from the group so we have different option scale out add only add instance to the group so here is no option to remove from the group okay so I'll keep the default one add instance so minimum number of instance I'll keep two and maximum I'll keep three so I don't want instances to be scaled up beyond three and here matrix we can have different option here so CPU utilization HTTP load balancing utilization monitoring metric pub sub q so I'll use CPU utilization only and health check so currently I do not have any health check which is required for auto healing feature so I'll create one health check so I'll go to another tab and i'll create one health check and we'll show you how we can create a health check so health check is nothing but it will check health of your computer engine so if i'm creating health check on particular port then it will just keep checking on that particular port if it is open and working then it will show your instance is healthy if it is your instance is down and that health check is not working it will show your health check is unhealthy so i'll go to health check and I'll create one health check here I'll just give the name as a HCMIG and here I will use port 22 so you can if you are having a HTTPS URL on your uh, compute engine you can use HTTPS protocol but I am using a TCP 22 port and then I'm creating this health check so once it is created I will use that health check here so it's not showing currently here let me refresh this page okay I need to fill details again so I will just give MIG So minimum I want a 2 and maximum I want 3 health check I will use MIG and I'll create my managed instance group so instance template time is to choose and I'll create managed instance group now so as I mentioned minimum instances as a two it will create a two instances so here you could see it's creating two instances so let me open so currently you could see here instance group member nothing is showing here if I reload it it will show you two instances are getting created So let's for let's wait for a minute the moment it will get created so it will take time to turn green
and now you could see everything is green now you could see hundred percent healthy both the instances are healthy yeah so you could see two instances one and two healthy so let me go to the vm instance page here here also you will see two instance name yeah so these two instances so one thing i remember you cannot handle or you cannot manage or control the instance name in managed instance group so it will take the your instance manage instance group name and hyphen a uh, unique characters so these are two instances are part of your managed instance group so one thing you should remember if you are using managed instance group and uh, you cannot delete these instances so just we'll see if i can delete so if i go here and i try to delete it so it will immediately create a new instance here because we put minimum instance should be two now as i delete it will immediately create a one so just take these characters last four characters so now it will create one more instance immediately and your instance group will show as unhealthy now okay so we are deleting this let's refresh it should create a new one You could see it showing 50% healthy. Oh, sorry, I wrongly clicked on that. Let me go back. Yeah. Now you could see a creation time 401. It created just now. So even if we deleted, it created a new instance. So suppose if I click on this T346 and I'll click on remove from group it will again create an instance because we mentioned in configuration like we want minimum two instance now you could see currently only one instance is there so it will immediately start creating one more instance again So we'll wait for a moment it should create a one more instance now let me reload yeah it's creating one more instance now so it changed a new name rpr5 so it will take a moment to turn into the green why it is taking a few seconds to turn into green because we have health check we check in a particular interval so if you check here we give an interval as a five seconds so once the instance is created immediately it will try to check on port 22 so immediately it won't give any response so once it is started completely then after five seconds it will check for that and after every Five second it will have time out of five seconds so it will take few moment to turn it into the green so we cannot delete the instances from the instance group it will keep uh, recreating so that is something you can say as auto scaling so let me go back to this here so auto healing and auto scaling so maintain high availability of your application your instances keep available and running state so mig automatically create an instance that is not running so let me 
go back and just try to stop the instance it should not allow me to stop the instance so let me so this instance is not a part of managed instance group so you ignore this now we removed it from group so let me stop this now so i want to stop this so let me stop this instance now okay and let me go back again to the instance group so i stopped rpr5 instance okay so i stopped this instant i'll keep on reloading this So we'll wait for a few seconds. Okay, now you could see what instance is updating. We'll see what's happening now. So instance is being verified. So we'll reload again. Yeah, and your instance is automatically started. So even if you keep stopping your instance, it will immediately start your instance because it is part of managed instance group and it has feature of auto healing and auto scaling so your instance cannot be stopped and it always keep two running instances okay health check is it will keep monitoring your health check of your vms if it seems in stop status it will start that if it seems in deleted status it will create a new so regional and zonal so as i said we can create in one zone or in a multiple zone so we saw auto scaling so there are two more future load balancing and automatic update so we'll see these two feature in our next video so thank you for watching this video